Hi, I'm Anna from McGunn Media, and in this video, I'm going to show you a method to help you become inspired. Now, this video is for any artist, not just photographers. So if you are a painter or a musician or any of you out there that are currently struggling by not being creative and you want to be inspired, then this video has a tool to help you. Now, unlike the fairy tales, inspiration does, doesn't happen with a lightning strike. Um, but there are tools and techniques that are out there that may help you. And I'm going to show you today just one of them because there are a lot of them out there. And this is what I call a vision book. Now, the vision book literally is a book of collected images that I have found or have been inspired by throughout um, the years. And I make one of these pretty much every year. Uh, and as you can see, it's not glamorous. It's not uh, beautiful to look at. Um, but what it does is it helps me collect images and sources that I find inspirational or something in it that I like and that I want to remember perhaps for later in my brain. Now, um, the first thing to do um, if you would like to create one of these is to buy yourself one of these books. Now, a book, uh, these books are A4 and they are just blank spiral bounds. A good rule of thumb is don't buy a beautiful, pretty book. Reason for it is, is the minute you have it in your hands, you are not going to want to get this book dirty. You want a book that you are quite comfortable sitting down with a cup of coffee and if that coffee gets spilled or put down on the book, you're not going to mind. This is a rough working book and it should be treated as such. It's a work in progress. It isn't the finished article. It's not something precious. So that's the first thing. Um, the next thing you're going to want to do is to collect your inspirations. Um, and I have here a pocket of um, various things that I've collected. And the thing with this is there are no rules. Like literally everything goes. Whatever you find to be funny, quirky, that you like or that you hate goes into this pile. Um, and you can just collect series of images as you can see you know even cute little dogs whatever is inspirational to you and i have collections of origami pieces or uh, pieces of uh, work from scrapbook uh, papers you know there is absolutely nothing off limits uh, that goes in this pile um, and as you can see my pile is a little extensive here um feel free to cut out from magazines, from newspapers, from journals, um, write down song lyrics or even quotes from films, whatever it is that you found uh, to be fun or that you've enjoyed. The next thing you're going to do is to take your vision book and literally uh, stick, copy, paste into the book. Now, I understand that this sounds rather 12th grade-ish, uh, and it is, you know, I think we've all done one of these when we were little. Um, but the thing is with these books is that it actually works incredibly well. Whilst the right side of your brain is cutting, sticking, pasting, choosing and selecting, the left side of your brain is processing all of this information. It is processing where you found the images, what you like, it's processing the colors and the compositions that you are making. And it's storing them in your brain. And that storage 
is then the thing that you draw inspiration from in your own creation. And when you come to your own creation, you then have a library of this reference material to come back to and use in your own work. So at this point in the book, you don't need to evaluate it. You don't need to think about it. You just need to collect, store and stick into your book. And then later on, you can come back to the book and say, hmm, what was it about these selection of images that I found aesthetically pleasing? Why did I select them? Was it the colour? Was it the feeling it gave me? Was it the composition? Now, a caveat here. I am not telling you to go out and copy the material that you're putting in this book. That is not what I'm saying. Inspiration isn't copying. To be inspired by a piece of artwork is not to copy it. It is to take from it the things that you love the most and then change it and put it into your own work. And that is what we're doing here. We're taking all of the inspiration from all sorts of places and putting them in one place. Now, as a photographer, and I'm sure you can see yourself in this, we are very quick to draw inspiration from other photographers. As a visual artist, we tend to do this. But the problem with that is that that means then all your inspiration is coming from the same place. And it isn't coming from a selection or a range of sources that makes actually the creation and your work unique and beautiful or different. What you would like in your catalogue of reference is a variety of things that you have stored. And for that reason, this is one of the tools that you can use to make that happen. Um, the other things I would suggest doing is going and searching on YouTube, um, perhaps a national gallery, go and see what they have on their walls, go and see uh, the talks, go to Pinterest, um, have a look at the pictures on Pinterest and create your own boards. But remember, there is something absolutely vital about the process of cutting and sticking and pasting to curate the things that you have seen in this way. This is, there is something that happens that stores that information once you've done this. So I'd love to see your um, vision books. So if you give this a whirl, please let us know in the comments and let us know how you got on. I'd love to see your work. Of course, if you like this video, please, like, subscribe, and more importantly, share it with somebody that you feel would benefit from this method.